all doing well today? I'm going to be doing a poodle hairstyle tutorial. Um, that's one of my favorites. I don't get enough time to do it because it's a little more time consuming, but I love it and it has such a great statement going out. And to be honest, I feel like the two, I'm not doing a full on head poodle, I'm actually doing partial poodle and then the rest just waves and curls. So to have poodle, I guess. But it's one of my favorite. It reminds me of just the 50s and a little bit 60s era of the Barbies. So stay tuned and let's get to it. I think wine is also a necessity in life. But I'm actually more of a tequila person. So you'll be seeing videos of me just straight up in my tequila diet. But it relaxes us So. Right now, I have the top pinned up. That's going to be where the big dramatic poodle is going to be. So I leave that for the last. The rest, I'm just going to be setting my hair like regular. I'm actually using smaller sections of my hair. That way I can just get more defined curls as I blend them all in. So depending on how much volume and how much fullness you want just depends on how much sectioning you want to do or as far as um oh my god I cannot talk and I only had three sips of wine basically depending on how much volume you want and curls that's how much of the section of hair that you want I promise I'm not that drunk like that, that e I don't get drunk that easily since I definitely have time I am taking my time on this one Also, since I am going on this side, so everything is being obviously curled to the left because I'm going to have my bangs also coming to the left. Generally, I have my bangs to the left anyways, but as far as when it comes to setting hair and um, styling it after you're done, it's always a matter of however left or right. I just got my nails done. They're cute. Shout out to Kaylee. Yes. Different kind of design, but I love my darkness. I can never decide, so it's always some type of weird quirky pattern, but I'm indecisive when it comes to nails. When you go to a nail salon and they have literally a freaking plethora of, I don't know, the whole Disneyland of nail polishes and the whole freaking Disney World of gel polishes and then designs and stuff, it's like, oh. sometimes I have a, a, sometimes I have arrived at my appointment almost like 40 minutes before just to give me time to figure out what I want to do. Regardless of me using, usually going for the usual style or colors, so it takes me forever because there are so many gorgeous colors. So 
Especially when you have a curl X and you're going to have a long belt, you need to have definition. You need to make a statement. As you can see that I'm curling the right side of my hair. When it comes to curling and angles, definitely go the direction of whether you want the bangs on the left side and then the rest of your hair on the right side or your bangs on the right side to the left side will be for the rest of the hair. So same usual pin curling and whatnot. I'm using three fourths wand using hot tools. Damn, you can already tell that like I'm getting tired, but once it's done, it's worth it. And I literally wear that damn hairstyle for the next two days. Just totally wrap it up. Alright, so now that I am at the top of my hair, I definitely make sure I still get smaller pieces like that. The reason being is because once I take out the pins, I have more room to stretch, per se, the curl. That way it helps add more fullness. And as I'm teasing and forming it with the hairspray, you'll see what I mean later on into the video. And then also too on the other side, obviously I didn't really record the other side of my curling hair, but it's the same thing. Um, curled the one side, going to the left and the other side to the right. And in the back of my hair, I just curled my hair going in. So... of a video and clearly I'm not over my nails nor will I ever give it about another two weeks and then I'll finally calm down about my nails but yes I'm pretty much finished with setting my hair it's just the last few strands and then I will most likely be setting this hair for, okay the nails again Aziza um most likely I will be setting my hair for I would say a good two hours because I have to clean my room I'm distract ah, nails like damn bitch. Someone's really feeling themselves, right? Um I don't even know what to say about her. Jesus Christ girl. Alright, finally the finished line after setting my hair. As you have the left side and the right side going each direction, and you can tell as well as in the top part of my hair, I have a rose little smaller. And in the back I got tired. Usually when I'm setting my hair, the curls are way smaller, but you guys get the gist of it. When you brush everything out and blend it, it'll blend in just beautifully well. And then you top it off with a cabernet. Alright, so now as you can see, I am starting out with the top. Uh, usually, obviously, my curls aren't too, too tight as I'm rolling them. As you can see, as I'm just kind of pinning them in loosely. Um, it depends on how tight you want your curl to look. Yes, girl, please look it up so we can see more. Thank you. Um, obviously, I have them a little messy because also, too, as when it comes to the time of me hairspraying it and kind of um, stretching my curl, you'll see the rolls already at the end kind of just kind of gradually do their own thing. So I'm just loosely pinning things in just to hold it in place for the most part because... Obviously, when you put the net on top, it's going to hold them all in place, and then you'll see the curls a little more. So yeah, go to any beauty supply store. Even Sally's has the small hair nets, and you can definitely cover it up. Alright, girl, get together. So 
still going through the hair net because then as you can see you can form and then you, that's when you start to see the rolls and then with the rest of the rolls the on the other side I just blend them in I usually do it last because it just depends on how big I'm going to go big with my poodle top but the rest of it I just blend it right on in and tease it definitely do not forget to tease And like I was saying in my previous video, um, once you hairspray it to really seal the hair in, is you can just blow dry it just for a few seconds. Yes, zoom in, zoom in. That's right. Oh, don't forget to make sure all your curls are out because I've actually forgotten a few in the past. Alright, so excuse the quick video mix up, but. I am now just teasing the end parts. I obviously unraveled everything and just teasing it in. I smoothed, you know, the top, you know, the mid part, I should say, the mid section. So I'm just teasing it. That way you get that volume, however your preference is. So I'm just teasing it and hairspraying it as I go. And then I use a hairnet as well, especially for the top part. I use a hairnet that is crucial. That way just keeps all the curls intact and just Holds it all. Finish look. My poodle. I'm still pinning this part, but this is what you should get. Just tease the hell out of it. And then to keep it together, you use a hairnet. I still hairspray it, definitely hairspray it. And that's that. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a nice day. Also, one more thing as you can see, one side has a hairnet and the other one doesn't. So it depends on how tight you want your poodle or if you want it more fluffier. So, whichever your preference is. But thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. I hope this helps you ladies.